Hey there, I'm Steve. And Tommy. And together, we're Smart Home Rigs. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about the Lifex, 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 which is it? Lifex. Lifex. The beam. So, check it out. Lifex beam. I see a lot of people talking about the Gobi, but this is the uh, the original Bad Daddy. So they had it on a sale at Amazon. Let's get into it. Got the command strips on the back of each one. Looks like they have little connectors on both ends here, so pull these out and see what all we have. In piece. Quick start guide that shows how you can lay it all out. Be the plug. Lock that into place. part will plug in and this part will magnetize to the end. Alright, so according to these you can make a, a T, an L, a bar, or whatever design you would like. Here they all are listed right here. Unlike the Govi that has one 90 degree bar, this one has the connections on three different sides you can either make it a right degree or a left degree bend and I would say probably and these are all magnetized and they're all magnetized a specific way Lay this out. And while I'm lining these out to see how they fit, this would be a good time to remind you that the Lifix beam requires no hub. It works directly on Wi Fi, but it does require 2.4 gigahertz. It has 16 million colors. The brightness goes up to 1200 lumens per six beams. And when it comes to the color zones, you have 10 per beam. And with the six beams, you've got 60 total. Each kit comes with six beams and one corner piece. And you have Lipix app features that will enhance your experience dramatically. We'll start out with the Lipix app, and as they're all very straightforward, I'm going to do this in time lapse. But you just go in there, you select the device, it's going to automatically be in parent mode as soon as it turns on. And since these lights don't use a hub, you're going to need to pair it directly to your Wi-Fi. So you're going to go in there to your Wi-Fi, look for the actual Lifix beam attached to the beam, and then go back into the app, and then it should find it right away. And then it'll walk you through the steps of going through the Alexa integration, and then it'll walk you through the steps of the HomeKit integration as well. And if you have a Google, you can walk through the steps of setting it up with your Google as well, because it does work with all three. Once I get mine set up, I'm just going to scan mine into HomeKit, add it to the room so I've got it in the same room. Then I'm going to go through the, the color wheel, starting with the white, look at the, all the colors from warm to blue, then go through all of the preset ones that they have, check out and see if they have one that I like. 
Uh, as it turns out, they didn't have one that was exactly what I was looking for, so I ended up customizing my own. But you can change the direction, you can change the flow, you can speed it up or slow it down, you can make it go right to left, left to right, however you want to do it. Customize it to your heart's content. And that's one of the things I can say about this, is with all the app features they have in the Lifix app, plus the 1200 lumens that this thing puts out, it is bright, it is colorful, and it is sharp, crisp color that will absolutely fill your space. And you can dim it all the way down to 1% or go all the way up to 100%. And I typically run mine right around 4% that you see in, in my videos behind me because it's bright enough and I'm in a fully lit room as well. And now that we've tested the Lifix app, let's go ahead and test the home app, make sure it's working there and put it in the room in Alexa to make sure that Alexa can control it as well and both do great. And the installation for this is probably about the easiest smart light I've put up. The hardest part was determining how you wanted to design it. But once I had it lined out and I knew where I wanted to put it on the calyx, it was down to just peeling off the back of the command strips and pressing the Velcro in place, holding it for about five seconds until it's stuck, and then go on down the line with the next one. These are all magnetized to each other and then Velcroed using the command strips to the actual piece of furniture. Then I went around to the back, wired up the plug, Hid the wires as best I could around the furniture so that you couldn't see them. Tucked them out of sight, did some basic cable management, and then fired it up. And these things look awesome. Even when they're off, they blend in with the furniture. Only problem I had was that I wanted them to go up, not down. And it looks like they're flowing down like a waterfall. So I had to go in there and tell it to reverse the direction once I got the speed right. So then I have it going up and to the right and then I slowed down the speed so it'll just crawl across there and that's the way I use it now. So now every day I turn on my office this is what I see instead of the theme that I already have set up. It's just like it forgets everything. Fortunately, I have this scene already set for my calyx so that I know that's the color scheme that I wanted. Then I hit move and it goes the exact opposite way as fast as it can. So again, I have to go in here to the move settings, remind it that I wanted the speed to be 17 and a half, and then I wanted to change the direction so that it goes from the small end to the low end and just creeps across it, which is the way I like to see it. But how does it not remember that setting? So now that it's got that in there, it's good to go. Another thing is, um, if you come in here, switch over to the groups and go into the beam, then you'll see the color up at the top here. I can come over to the palette and I could paint it whatever color I want to and add in red. Anywhere you touch it, you can make it pop in. So if I wanted to make this whole side red here, I could literally paint it with my finger. And have there be just one little bit of red over here in the midst of all the purple. So you can customize this however you want to. So if you have a particular team and you want their colors, you could change it to the colors of your favorite team for a sporting event or whatever. Uh, but for me, I just like the, uh, the standard and moving. But all in all, it's not a bad, uh, not a bad little thing. It fits really well into the calyx. The frame is the perfect size to go seamlessly across the edge there. And we really like it. So all in all, not a bad light. 
It's a little more expensive than I'd like it to be, especially considering the fact that every time you turn it on, it can't remember what it did the day before. It's like it doesn't remember anything. It's like it has amnesia. Exactly. So, you know, that could be a firmware fix. Work on that, Lifix. Lifix. I'll work on your name. You work on that. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And ding that bell. If you ding the bell, you'll get notified when we post new content. So until next time, my name has been Steve. And Tony. And you guys have been great. Smart Home Rigs, helping your smart home tech work for you.